Yo, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are glamming the beautiful, the leader of the grown woman's table. Did I do it good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is It's Lori's Life. If you do not follow her, you need to follow her because she will get your life together. Mm -hmm. She does beautiful makeup. She has probably the best skin I've ever touched. Oh, thank you so much. Follow thank her. You, thank you. I used the new, well, I don't know if it's new, it's new to me. This Vi Art Vizy Art palette here. These are the mm -hmm. colors we did. We did like a nice summer glam. Let's get into the look. Okay, skin prep. First going in with the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. I love this stuff. It's great on oily skin. It has a gel-like texture, doesn't make you oily. After that, I'm going in with Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Eye Cream. And then we're gonna use a Mario Badescu Lip Balm. It's very important to prep the lips too. I feel like sometimes we forget that step. Next up, I'm going in with the Becca Aqua Luminous Concealer, I believe in the shade Dark Golden. And I like to use a Real Techniques, it's actually an eyeshadow blending brush when I'm working on clients to blend out concealer. I don't know, it's just really nice, it's fluffy, it blends it out perfectly. I'll be sure to leave the exact name of what the brush is in the description box in case you guys wanna check it out. Once I have that all blended with the brush, then I'll go in just on the edges with a cosmetic sponge to furthermore blend everything out. Then we're gonna take a little bit of that concealer down the center of the nose just to kind of highlight and bring a little bit more light to the center of the face. For foundation, I'm going in with my black opal foundation stick. I mix them, I customize everyone's shade. So that's why you'll see a palette in my hand the whole time instead of the actual foundation. But I just blended it up shades that would match great for Lori's skin. As you can see, Lori has bomb skin. Her skin is incredible and I'm using, of course, my favorite Makeup Forever 108 Flat Foundation Brush. I feel like this brush just applies any and every foundation just flawlessly. And then I'll take a sponge again and just go over any areas on the face to make sure that I didn't miss any spots blending or maybe if I had too much product in one spot, this will kind of pick some of that up. And to set up under the eyes, going in with MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in dark. You guys know this is my favorite way to set the under eye concealer. I do this on myself and on all of my clients. I just find that the under eyes look flawless. It doesn't get dry, doesn't look cakey. And we're also gonna take a little bit of that down the center of the nose too, just to kind of continue on to highlight the rest of the face in the center. Next up, grabbing a fluffy brush, we're gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in Deep to go ahead and set the rest of the face. I'm doing a light set in areas that aren't so oily and then I'm gonna set a little bit more, just basically stipple on a little bit more powder in certain areas where I feel like she might get a little bit oilier at. So I don't like to douse the whole face in powder. I like to put some on, wait and see how it sits and then sometimes I'll go back over again. Now to keep it from looking Looking like you know too too matte I'm gonna go in with some MAC mineralized skin finish I believe I have it's either dark or deep as dark I can't remember guys I'm sorry and was gonna go over her face with that as well now I'm gonna be taking a real techniques blush brush you guys know this is my favorite brush for bronzer and I'm using the Sephora pro face palette in the shade dark well not the shade dark the palette dark and first we're gonna go in with that bronzer and jet setter first and just start to warm up the face And now that we have her all bronze, we're gonna go in with that beautiful deep contour shade. You guys saw this when I did my review on it last week. Check it out on Lori Skin. If you are Lori Skin Tone or deeper, this will be the most beautiful contour on you. It will not be too cool. It's not too warm. This is probably the best powder contour I've shade for deep skin tone women in a really, really long time. And the brush that I'm using is just a angled brush by Bobbi Brown. I believe it's supposed to be a blush brush, not 100% sure, but again, Again, I'll make sure to link it. It's my favorite brush that I like to use on my clients for contouring. And making sure to get the top of her head as well, just to kind of bring in some more shadows. And then this brush, I use it as well for any kind of nose structure, contouring, snatching. I just pinch it and I just go right along the side of the nose. And I kind of like to bring it up into the socket that meets to the brow bone as well. 
And then we're gonna go in, I mixed the reddish and orange tone blush in the palette because I just knew that would look stunning on her skin. And I'm using a Bobbi Brown blush brush to apply this as well. Next up, of course, you guys know my favorite, favorite glow product. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Glow Powder in the shade Medium Dark. I'm not a highlighter junkie, y'all. You know that about me. But this just gives the most beautiful, effortless glow. It looks so great on the skin. And then I'm using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Pencil. Favorite brow pencil at the moment to fill in her brows. Now moving on to eyes, we're gonna prime her with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Caffeine. This is my favorite and I believe Lori likes this one as well. So if you're using this, just make sure you blend it out really, really well. Now I'm gonna use the Busy Art Palette. I don't know the names of the palette off the top of my head, so I'll just make sure that I pop a picture of the color that I'm using, but taking the deepest tone first, and we're gonna go ahead and blend that into the crease. I want it to give Lori like a beautiful, kind of like a, purpley summer glam look that's what we were going for this shade we're going to make sure that we pack first in the inner corner and then taking a more a little bit more of like a purple it's got like a little bit of a blue flex in it and then we're going to pop that on the center of the eye to bring some more pizzazz to the eye taking my mac 217 this purple shade is stunning and i'm going to focus this on the outer corner and then i'm going to start pulling it up into the crease ever so slightly these shades blend together no problems like butter and a little trick i like to do if i really need to get into the crease i'll kind of flip the brush up so that way i can make sure i'm getting in there and blending everything out nicely and then of course going in with the inner tear pop i always do that that's just my thing for liner, my favorite to use is the Tardiest Clay Paint. I like it because it comes in a squeeze tube, so it's really, really easy for me to use on clients. I can just squeeze a little out. I don't have to worry about it drying up on me because I feel like sometimes in the pot gel liners, they can just really, really get kind of gross and dry. So I use this on her top lash line, and I also used it on the bottom for her waterline as well. And then for lashes, while well, I put mascara on and lashes, we're gonna go in with Ardell Demi Wispies, probably everyone's fave. Now for lips, don't kill me guys, because I mixed up a concoction. I couldn't even tell you what it was, but I know I did use a Tarte gloss. I'll remember to put that down below as well. And that is going to complete our look for Miss Lori. I absolutely love everything about it. The skin, the complexion, the tones, everything. This is like that beautiful, effortless summer glam. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, y'all, that is going to wrap up today's video. Don't forget, make sure you follow my girl Lori on Instagram and YouTube. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep it simple. Peace. Peace.